hi happy Tuesday ladies um, I know that I did a, a video log yesterday but um, I have another one I want to do today so this will be my uh, third video log for the um, love your body series with tone it up um, today I kind of just want to talk to you a little bit about something that's weighing on me um, because um, Yesterday I went out to the grocery store and I decided to venture out in this new town I'm in and and try to find the best grocery store because I, I know exactly where I like to go up in St. Louis. Up in St. Louis I have my grocery stores. I have them pegged. I know exactly um, which ones have the best organic food, which ones have the most choices. So um, this is a little bit of a fear for me down here is not knowing um, what the best choices are. Um, so I kind of want to talk to you about that because <laughs> there are no choices down here. I think that the one place, shout out to Target for having anything that is remotely organic or healthy related is it's just Target. It's Target. Um, I went to one of the bigger grocery stores down here and that was, that's a story. Um, and then I went to um, another place that I do really, really like. I'm, I'm probably going to end up using that uh, place for my produce and then Target for some of my extra odds and ends. But um, I just want to talk to you about this one grocery store I went to last night and kind of how it made me feel because I'm on day six of being a vegetarian and I'm, I am maybe struggling a little bit because... I'm having extreme cravings for, of course, chicken um, and turkey, but specifically turkey roll-ups and chicken wings. Like, I just can't shake the chicken wing craving. I just don't know what it is. So I'm going to try to find um, something that I can make that has hot sauce in it so that I don't, so I don't fall off the edge, you know. Um, I did find this one good recipe for quinoa bites that were um, buffalo. But anyways, um, so uh, yeah, I, I'm on day six and so I thought, well, there's a couple of different things I want to try, so let's go to the grocery store. Never been to this one. We'll see what happens. Should be good. Uh, not so much. I felt completely like the outsider. Like, I felt like a real outsider. I felt like there was some sort of secret fried chicken party but I wasn't invited to. And I don't mean that in a really mean way because fried chicken is delicious, but but when you are trying to watch what you eat and you're trying to change your lifestyle, it was really, really hard. Um, I, I went into the grocery store and the first thing I see is the produce aisle. And it, it was a good selection. So I was like, okay, this is gonna be good. I'm excited about this. That's a great produce section. Let's, let's try it out. That was the only thing that was good about that supermarket, the produce section. And being nice um, about the whole <laughs> produce section part being good. So, um, yeah, so I went towards, like, the chicken aisle and the, the meat, the beef, because I thought, you know, up in St. Louis, that's where they normally keep some of the, like, the vegetarian um, meats, the non-meat patties and stuff like that. So I'm going to give this a try. So I went down there and looked and looked and looked. There was nothing. I mean, okay, fine, there's nothing. But the thing that struck me was there was large bags, large bags of French fries, like industrial size, like take them to a restaurant and cook them for 300 people size bags of fries, chicken wings, and they sold blocks of cheese, like blocks of of cheese that you would slice up and throw on a McChicken or or a McDouble. I mean, it was gross. <laughs> I was I was a little grossed out. I was like, oh my god, a block of cheese. Like, this is terrible. So then I rounded the corner to the frozen food section because I thought, okay, well maybe they're hiding all of the veggie patties and stuff in the back where nobody normally goes, maybe. And I went to the um, organic aisle, and um, the only thing that was in that aisle, or that it was one, one door, one door, it was three things. It was a vegetarian beef patty, 
but it was beef. And then it was a brand I'd never heard of. Um, and then there were chicken bites. And not organic chicken bites like, like from, oops, I accidentally put it in the wrong freezer section, chicken bites. And I was like, okay, so that's my other choice and that's not gonna work. There was, there was nothing. It was an empty case, just empty. So I can assume that either people got really, really hungry for change you know, January 1st, and we're like, let's go to the vegetarian section, let's get the organic food. Or I can assume that nobody actually goes there so that they don't actually put anything in that cabinet. So, I don't know. So, that place is just a no-go. I'm not gonna go back there. Um, like I was saying, Target was probably one of the better choices, better not, one of the better options. Um, yeah, so that didn't, <laughs> that didn't sit well with me. And then when I, when I was driving home, I noticed a sign on the Hardee's screen that said, you know, two ham and cheeses for four dollars. And I just kind of thought to myself, like, what are we doing to ourselves? Really, like, what are we doing to ourselves? You're feeding yourself for four dollars, but you're feeding yourself that block of cheese. <laughs> like, that disgusting block of cheese is what you were feeding yourself. And you're feeding yourself this just disgusting patty of who knows what? I mean, if you like McDonald's and stuff, I'm not gonna lie, I like, I like McDonald's, but it's because of the sugar, it's because of the salt, it's because of the fake freaking blocks of cheese that they put on that thing. So, driving home, I was a little grossed out. I couldn't really look on either side of me. I had to just stare straight ahead and just go home because I was like, this is disgusting. So, um, yeah, that was kind of my journey last night. Uh, I got a few things that I needed, but you know, that was like honey and balsamic vinegar. So it wasn't a lot of stuff I needed. But um, so I got home and I decided that I was gonna try a new recipe. Um, so I decided to try, um, it was a, it had uh, uh, sweet potatoes in it, but I decided to take the sweet potatoes out just because of the starches, you know, no starches after three rule. Um, so. I decided to just do the black bean and enchiladas, which were, you know, enchiladas, spinach, um, garlic, onion, peppers, just all natural food based. And I put a little taco sauce on it because it called for a little bit of uh, enchilada or taco sauce. Um, but that's really all I needed. I mean, I really, really thought in my head that enchiladas are beef based. That's it, beef and chicken. They're not gonna taste good if they don't have it in there. But those black beans, honestly, like it was really good. And the seasonings that I put in with it, the chili powder and stuff, on point, like it was good. It was a really good recipe. So I have to say that black beans are now probably gonna be a staple in what I eat because I mean, the texture didn't bother me too much. Um, I'm a texture person that just weird smushy things, uh, I don't know. So um, speaking of texture, tonight I am going to make zoodles. So I think in one of my other posts a while back, I wrote, you know, my um, goal would be to uh, be friends with Zoodle or be friends with Zucchini. So uh, we're gonna try that out tonight. I'm gonna make the Zoodles. I'm gonna make um, the walnut pesto, walnut kale pesto sauce from the new, uh, Tone It Up, new, excuse me from the Tone It Up Nutrition Plan. So I'm gonna make that as my sauce and then I'm gonna make the zoodles. Um, and then I'm gonna see how it goes. I've researched a couple of different ways to make the zoodles. So um, I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully the texture isn't gonna be crazy gross. Hopefully it just reminds me of noodles. I know a lot of people said that it does and that they like them. So, so that's pretty good, but um, yeah, so that's what's for dinner tonight. I know I'm making my husband toasted ravioli because he doesn't want zoodles. He wants toasted ravioli, the meat stuffed kind. So I'm going to suffer with the smell wafting in my face of these toasted raviolis. So um, yeah, that's what's for dinner tonight. Um, but um, let me know what you guys are having for dinner. I know I've been getting a lot of different um, recipes from you girls, a lot of different ideas here and there from you ladies. So let me know what you guys think or if you have any recipes. I know uh, Leah from Florida, wow, love you, 
sent me um, a chickpea salad recipe. So it was supposed to take place of a chicken salad and just be chickpeas. And um, I made it last night. I couldn't sleep, so I got up at like 11.30 and was making chickpea salad. But um, I had some for lunch. So good. So good. I mean, it has the relish in there. It has the mustard in there. It has, um, it has, I put kale in mine. I chopped up a little bit of kale in my food processor and threw it in there so that I could get a little bit of that superfood in there. So that was really good. It's a really good recipe. Um, yeah, but I know that uh, tonight's challenge is to make the Tone It Up approved from their recipe plan. So that's where I'm getting the walnut um, and kale pesto. Um, yeah, so everything is going okay right now with being vegetarian. I think that, like I said before, I mean, I'm having some extreme cravings for certain things and I think my willpower is starting to kick in. I know it's only been six days, but I don't know. Just try to stop eating chocolate chips for six days. I mean, I've been trying to do that because I'm addicted to chocolate chips. So trying to cut the sugar out, trying to cut the meat out. Um, okay, so um, just for the rest of the week, I kind of want you all to think about this vlog or this vlog if you are listening to it and think about what you're putting inside your own bodies. Um, just think about it. Think of like that huge block of cheese and how disgusting and wobbly it is because I think that if you think about how like disgusting and wobbly that cheese is and you think about it going in your stomach, then you think about when you walk around how jiggly your stomach is because you ate that block of cheese. So just, I, I can't get it out of my head. The block of cheese is grossing me out. But anyways, just this week be mindful of what you're putting in your bodies. Um, be mindful and be confident about what you're putting in your body. I think that's the one thing I like about being vegetarian is I feel confident about what I'm putting in my body. I know I'm putting something in there that is not going to hurt it. It's going to help it. So, you know, um, just, so please just be mindful of that and um, stay away from the box of cheese. <laughs> okay. So All tonight, right. just remember to make healthy choices and um, I'll let you know how the zoodles go and um, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you.